Special package from PP today. It's like Christmas. Check the part number though, because this one is for the fifteen hundred. That's Alex's. Okay, so I'm opening the wrong one. We can still open it just to see. I'll take a picture and send it to him. Sweet. Raw aluminum. Yep. Because he's gonna powder coat it himself. Nice. We don't need to open the other one. What's the other one? Because they're all rear diff covers. This one is for a 2020. Is this one raw or it's black? Black brushed, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> ah, yes, sir. Yeah, that's just like mine. Oh, I like it. Picasso. Oh, God. This one is for a 2500, 3500 HD. So if it's black and brushed, it's yours. If it's raw, it's Devin's. Yeah, so that's this one is mine. Damn, it looks so good. Yeah, I got that finished because it matches your truck better. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. There you go. PPE, only the best. Awesome. I think PPE makes one of the best looking diff covers, so. Thank you, bro. All right, so we got Can another we project. Do, get it installed. Hell yeah. And it comes with a sticker. Yeah. Goes in the toolbox. If anybody out there needs PPE diff covers, email me at JW Motorsports Co. Or message me on Instagram. I can get an order for you. I am a PPE dealer. That's how we got all these diff covers. All my friends ordered the PPE diff covers through me. If any of you guys out there need to order PPE stuff, let me know. Here's a quick before and after. This is gloss black powder from Prismatic. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I achieved this look by using an oven and a powder coat gun from Eastwood. Yeah, we need to make this more sturdy. And then for this washed black powder from Prismatic, every powder is different. For example, my neon yellow is 350 for 10 minutes, but Prismatic gloss black is 400 at 10 minutes. It will say on the bag. Now what we gotta do, we're gonna let it just cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna clean it one more time and then we'll start spraying. Today, dang, that was gonna look so good. Can you imagine how quick that's done? Can you imagine? I just got powder coating done in 30 minutes and my plastic pieces over there have been sitting there for two weeks. And we spent how many hours? Eight hours in? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta ground it. Ground. Right there. Most sure about it start, bro. Thank you. Press the button. Sucky is I gotta pick it up and put the tray around every time. Mm -hmm. Once we get it all set up, we can get something that rotates, you know what yeah. I mean? And then you just rotate it. That's that not a bad idea. Rotate that it. can rotate. Yeah, it kinda sucks. We gotta flip it around like that right now, but once we actually have the powder coat booth like actually set up, set up, it'll be much easier. Ladies and gents, that is really it. Now we unhook this and bake for about 10 minutes. It's set at 400, so the oven is ready to go. And like I said, prismatic gloss black requires 10 minutes of baking time at 400 degrees, so it starts now. 10 minutes later, woohoo, look at that. Went from powder to almost glass like finish in 10 minutes. That is the beauty of powder coat. Time for these insert pieces in neon yellow. Now this is gonna be a two-stage coat. We are gonna be doing flat clear on top. 
And the reason why I do flat clear is because it makes the neon yellow pop a little bit more with flat clear. It also adds another layer of protection. Neon yellow does not last in the sun at all. So it will fade, I know that. Hopefully it'll make it last six months longer than with no clear whatsoever. Ten minutes at 400 degrees. Look at that, that looks amazing. Put flat clear on top, it'll actually make it pop even more. It'll make it more vibrant. Um, just the two blocks and all the inserts for it. The lighting doesn't do justice because of this fluorescent light, but this looks insane. The camera can't pick it up on the camera, it just looks yellow, but in real life, let me see if I can change the lighting here. It's a little bit better here. Maybe I need to go outside. There we go. It's, uh, it's almost like glow in the dark. Yeah, this thing pops outside. Yeah, that is insane. It, it looks like it's about to glow. I'm wondering if I accidentally used the glow in the dark powder. I don't think I did, but there's only one way to find out. Nah, it's not glowing. But, out there, like, look at it. It looks like it wants to glow. It is that vibrant and it pops with the black background. This is amazing. I know it's just rear blocks, but in my opinion, it's the little things that count in life, especially for builds. And uh, little details like this will really add overall quality of your build. Once again, huge shout out to Brandon at Bice Fab. Dude, that is killer. And I just love how it turned out. And the fact that we can actually powder coat everything in-house, got it done within a couple hours, it makes me so happy. I, I don't have to drop it off at a powder coat place anymore and pay for it and pick it up. Even though that wouldn't have been that expensive, it would have still at least been about 60 to $80 to get that powder coated. It's honestly really easy and it's fun to do at home. If anybody is looking to do some powder coating, all you need is a used oven. I picked this one up from Facebook for free because the lady said one of the stove doesn't work and she got a new one and she didn't need it. So all I had to do was just go over there and pick it up and it was free. I'm sure you'll find an opportunity like that. Worst case scenario, people will get rid of them for 50 to 100 bucks. So it's not that expensive. You can pick one up. And we haven't finalized our powder coat booth, which we really need to because there's powder everywhere. So we need to put two fans with the filter so that way it suck up all the powder as we're spraying. But a cabinet like this, I mean, you can pick something up for a couple hundred bucks and then the powder coat gun, a couple hundred bucks. Pound of powder is roughly about, depending on the powder though, it's about 15 to 20 bucks. And prismatic powders, they ship it within a couple of days. It's actually crazy how fast they ship it. It's sometimes it's quicker than Amazon Prime. Yeah, so powder coating, super fun, super easy to do and it'll save you a lot of money. We finally checked that off the list 
I was gonna paint today as well, but by looking at the weather, it looked like it was supposed to rain and the humidity level was kind of high. And after everything that we went through with humidity and the paint turning, paint turning uh, hazy and stuff like that, I didn't want to risk it. So it's supposed to rain for the rest of this week. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to paint the fender flares this week. Eventually, we are going to repowder coat all the inserts on the truck. We gotta put the uh, truck on jack stands. We gotta repowder pretty much everything for the traction bar. And while, we, while the truck is on the jack stands, we're gonna tape everything off. We're using a product called Pour 15. We're gonna recoat everything, all the rusted parts under the truck. We're gonna recoat everything so that way the truck looks brand new for the show. So we got a lot of stuff to do and not a lot of time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are still uploading Monday through Friday every single day and it's a lot of grind. So all I'm asking is for you guys to just hit the thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. We are giving away the LOI at 100,000 subs. Please share this channel with all your friends. Tell them to subscribe because the moment we hit 100,000 subscribers, we are going to launch the LOI giveaway. And up until then, we're gonna fix up everything that needs to be fixed up with the LOI as well. So that way, when you win that truck, you don't have to worry about a thing. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these custom rear blocks. And also, if you have a seven to nine inch lift kit, this these blocks will fix the sagging you will have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.